Uh, today we're going to be discussing the arrest of two individuals, a Rosalinda Vajeo and Elizabeth Castillo for the trafficking of heroin, Schedule 1, which is a felony. Uh, the two individuals are being held on a $1 million bond at the Rutherford County Sheriff's Office. Thank you for being with us today and I would especially like to thank uh, Director Mark Gwynn and District Attorney Jennings Jones for being with us today. On Saturday, January 23rd, detectives assigned to the Mercer Police Department's Special Investigations Unit, the DEA Task Force, in the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, arrested two individuals as the result of a criminal investigation into the trafficking of heroin. During the course of the investigation, a search of a vehicle revealed approximately five kilograms of heroin. These drugs were intended for distribution and sale in the Middle Tennessee area. The proliferation of heroin cases in the state is of great concern to all of us. This weekend seizure of five kilograms of heroin exemplifies what law enforcement has been concerned about for the past few years. This is one of the most dangerous drugs which is highly addictive in taking over the drug trade. As we are seeing more cases of heroin entering the state, a troubling trend has developed where heroin is being laced with a drug called fentanyl. We're seeing more overdose deaths as a result because fentanyl is up to 100 times more potent than heroin. Aside from the inherent dangers of using heroin in any of these illicit drugs, I can't emphasize this enough. When people buy dr illegal drugs, they just don't know what they're getting. But it's not just heroin. There are other drugs that users believe to be one thing but turn out to be another and eventually turn out to be deadly. 